Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's talk about the negative exponent rule. And first, thanks for stopping by. I know there's lots of math videos you could look at, so hopefully I can help you. Okay, negative exponent rule states, a negative exponent helps to show that a base is on the denominator side of the fraction line. In other words, the negative exponent tells us that a number with a negative exponent should be put to the denominator and vice versa. So here's what it looks like in reality. You have x to the negative third. It actually stands for 1 over x cubed, and the cube now is positive. A lot of times you will see it in a situation like this with it outside the parentheses. So basically, a over b to the negative n equals b over a to n. So let's work some examples. Okay, so now we have 2x over y squared to the negative squared, or negative 2. So what we're going to do is, uh, I, we're going to call it the flip-flop, okay? I know that's not a math term. So we have now 2 over x is in the bottom, and y over squared is here. And this now becomes a positive 2. So we re rewrite it to look like this. Now we just apply the rules. y squared, uh, we add these, so we have y to the fourth over... Now the 2, it's actually squared. It's not 2 times 2, it's squared, but it just so happens uh, 2 squared is 4, and then we have x squared, okay? Because you add it to the x. So there's example 1. Let's look at another example. Okay, this one we have all kinds of stuff going on. We have a negative exponent here. So let's flip-flop, okay? So this becomes negative 3a squared b, and this is c squared, and the negative now becomes a positive. We've rewritten it, so now let's just apply the rules. We add these two exponents, so this will be c to the fourth, because 2 plus 2 is 4. Now we're going to square this negative 3, that will become a 9. We're going to add exponents here, a, 2 plus 2 is 4. And then B, technically it has a 1 there. 1 plus 2 is, I mean, excuse me, we don't have anything there. Uh, so that will be become squared. So that's what it looks like, rewritten, applying the negative exponent rule. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.